lovely, but try opening the spell box during that passage. Yes, excellent. Hello, I'm Jerry Martin, and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Helpwork and Zoom to help with remote organ instruction. The challenges of the past couple of years gave us a number of exciting new technologies, and I think we've all tuned into some absolutely fantastic streams on YouTube. So we're very familiar with YouTube as a streaming platform, and we know that it's possible to transmit high quality video and audio over YouTube. And of course, we know we can use products like FaceTime and Skype to have one-on-one -on -one, uh, communications. However, those technologies using your cell phone or um, a laptop just using Skype or FaceTime uh, is limited in terms of the audio quality that the person at the other end hears. Meanwhile, if we look at the YouTube platform, while it's possible to transmit in very high audio and video quality, it's not real time. And even with the optimal internet streaming settings, uh, there's probably going to be a delay of several seconds between when you play and when the person at the other end hears. So not ideal for remote instruction. And this is where Zoom as a platform we've probably all used for meetings over the past couple of years. And Zoom rolled out a high fidelity professional grade audio option and it is absolutely possible to connect that to our Hubford platform. So the question is, how do we connect the stereo output from Hubford to a microphone so that our person on the other end can hear us, to headphones so that we can hear, and in theory, how could the other person do the same so we can make this truly interactive on both ends? Well, it turns out a USB mixer is the route which I took these products are different to audio interfaces. They connect via USB to the computer, but they are specialized in taking multiple audio sources, mixing down to a stereo signal, which goes to the computer, and then the stereo signal comes back from the computer and can be monitored over headphones. So if we look at this flow chart, I play a note on Hubwerk, it goes to the USB mixer and out my headphones and onto the person on Zoom. I speak into the microphone, likewise goes through the mixer to Zoom. When they speak and or play, it comes back via the USB mixer to my headphones. So this appears to check all the boxes. So let's look at how I've set this up. So here's my Hauptwerk setup, and we begin by intercepting the headphone output and routing this audio to a USB mixer, which is also working to combine the audio from a wireless microphone, which I use. This audio is then sent over USB to a secondary computer. In this case, it's a MacBook, which runs the Zoom client, and this sends the audio back out over my AKG headphones for monitoring. So next, I'd like to show you how I've connected all of the audio sources to the mixer and my headphones before we take a dive into how we set up Zoom for these purposes. My first item is a quarter inch to XLR cable, which is connected to the headphone output of my audio interface and the volume turned up. The XLR cables are now connected to channels one and two on the mixer, which is now connected via USB to the computer and powered on, connecting headphones to the appropriate output, and channel three is the connection for my microphone. Channel one and two may need to be panned left and right, and now we move to setting levels, which we can monitor over headphones. These two lights here will illuminate, so, Choosing a large registration and playing a chord. If my level is too high, they will turn red and also the clip meters will come on here. So I will turn the volume to just where it's starting to go yellow, maybe touch red, but avoiding clipping. And that's how I'll optimize the Hauptwerk volume. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda is to set up our Zoom account and client to allow for high quality audio. So let's hop on over to zoom.us. And if you don't already have an account, we're gonna click sign up free and follow the process to set up a free basic account. I should point out that the basic account is sufficient for all of this and includes the high quality audio features. However, if you want to have a call or meeting that lasts longer than 40 minutes, one person on the call needs to have an advanced account, and there are details on the website about setting that up. 
So before we get started with the actual client on the computer, do jump into your Zoom profile and go to settings and under in meeting advanced and ensure allow users to select stereo audio in their client settings is enabled. So now that our account is set up, we can go ahead and launch the Zoom client and get it running. Okay, now that I'm in the Zoom client, there are a couple of settings we have to change here. So I'm gonna click on my icon and settings. Under video, this will be whichever camera you want to use for this. You can just use the webcam on your laptop, which is what I've used. But under audio, for speaker and microphone, this is going to be the stereo device, the mixer in my case. So I know that in my case, it's called USB audio codec. So I'm gonna use speakers, USB audio codec, microphone, USB audio codec. I'm going to recommend turning off, automatically adjust microphone volume and just leave it at the highest setting. And then under audio profile, we're going to click original sound for musicians and configure it as follows. We're going to turn on high fidelity music mode. We're going to turn off echo cancellation and turn on stereo audio. At this point, the Zoom client is configured to send and receive audio through the USB mixer and to do it using the maximum available settings. All that remains is to start a meeting. We can schedule this in advance or I can just click the new meeting button. Once you jump into your new meeting, the folks on both ends need to up here in the top left, click original sound for musicians. It is off by default, so click that once. Original sound is on and we should be good to go. Well, we had better get back to work. I do hope you found this video useful and maybe it's given you some ideas that you can use. Please do let me know in the comments uh, if you have found this helpful and do share any tips or tricks that you might have used or other ideas that you may have come across for this kind of situation. I think this technology is going to continue to evolve and this opens up a lot of opportunities uh, for people that may live in areas that don't have access uh, to organ tuition. So I look forward to hearing from you and as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.